East Region second round game is sponsored by Bridgestone Tire, makers of new Arcot Series 300 radials. More than a new tire, it's a whole new ball game. Team Xerox, the right products and right people all working together. And by Pontiac, America's road car company. Pontiac, we build excitement. Here's the record summary of the two teams. Duke, of course, the number one seed of the East region. A winner on Thursday against Mississippi Valley State, but they had to struggle to win that one. 17 game winning streak for the Blue Devils and a very impressive 18 and 2 mark against teams in the tournament. On the other side of the ledger, Old Dominion was the eighth seed coming into this East region. They won against West Virginia on Thursday by eight, and they are five and seven against teams in the tournament. That includes a win over DePaul, a team that is still alive right now in the NCAA championship hunt. The officials for today's game, Peter Pavia, Bobby Deibler, J.C. Leinbach. Starting lineups, Kenny Gaddison, all-conference player, one of the top players of all time to don a uniform at Old Dominion, along with Ronnie Way, Clarence Hanley, Frank Smith, and Keith Thomas. Four seniors in the starting lineup for both teams today. Duke, of course, with Henderson, Allery, Phyllis, Amaker, and the great one, Johnny Dawkins. Being the number one seed in this region, Duke will be the home team today, wearing the home whites with the royal blue trim. Old Dominion controls to start things off. Well, Frank Smith runs the show. There'll be a lot of pressure on him all during the afternoon. He's got to play 40 and play well. That's number 15, Frank Smith, who is only a sophomore, but has done a good job of directing the offense. That time, his pass was knocked away and stolen by David Henderson. Mark Gallery with terrific post defense. Now on the other side, you got Tommy Amaker at the point for Duke. Along with Johnny Dawkins at the backcourt. What a combination. David Henderson gets the first two points of the ball game for Duke. The big concern is how ODU handles the man-to-man -man pressure. They deny, they're in the passing lanes. You need a lot of motion to counter Duke. Mike Smith now outside, over to the senior. Keith Thomas' jumper is good. He's a good outside shooter. Here's the passive trap. They'll put a little token pressure, and then backtrack. Tommy Amaker at the controls of the Blue Devil offense. Only a junior, the only non-senior in the starting lineup for the Blue Devils. This looks like a box of one on Dawkins. Here's Mark Gallery's jumper. Of course, all conference and large part of this nucleus here at uh, Duke, along with Johnny Dawkins, Henderson, Jay Billis. Saw the back cut by Gaddison and then the help. They're excellent helping their partner. Thomas back out to Smith. The big center now, Clarence Hanley. Not a very effective inside. He plays away from the basket. This time his pass is stolen by Tommy Amaker. Not a very good post pass, but once again, the three-quarter inside by Allery. Box and one. Thomas on Dawkins. Amaker inside the Phyllis, and he's fouled. Tom Young going with the gimmick early to try and confuse Duke. In his mind, they're an excellent team. Intelligent coach. But here the post pass, the drop step. Phyllis had to go back for the basketball. But just over a little bit late, Ken Gaddison. Gaddison coming over to help out. He gets the first foul of this ball game. Tom Young, formerly at Rutgers. You will recall, many of you, that he coached the Scarlet Knights to the Final Four 10 years ago, 1976. I helped Tom to a successful record. Gave him one a year. <laughs> And Mike Krzyzewski, many people's choice for the coach of the year this year in college basketball. I know he's my pick. Coach K. Coach K. That makes it a lot easier, but it is Krzyzewski, and he's been an outstanding coach this year for Duke. Phyllis hits one and two, and the Blue Devils off to a three-point lead. Tommy Emmaker in the backcourt there guarding Frank Smith. They played together against one of their high school and in the summers. Hanley from outside. And Thomas is hit, coming in, crashing the boards. Hit with the foul. That's the 
second team foul on Old Dominion. What Duke does to you, they disrupt your offense, and you can't get the ball inside, and all of a sudden you'll take a quick shot and get in a deeper hole. You've got to be patient, move yourself as well as the basketball. Old Dominion, you may have seen the staff one and three in tournament play, and there's one win in the NCAAs happened on Thursday, the first one ever, the victory over West Virginia. Hanley and Ronnie Wade trying to step in front. They've got him caught. Mallory with a good seal. First look at Johnny Dawkins, and he's called for the offensive foul. Bad shot for his ability, but you get frustrated when you haven't teed one up. And of course, this is off the box of one. Keith Thomas, good position. This one rep seems to have it one way, one the other. They're having a discussion. Bob Dibler had it one way. I think he's one. Let's see. Now they're going to give it. Oh, Tom Young is furious. Go get him, Tom. I don't blame you. Tough enough coming into this building, isn't it? coordination by the officials. One should have said I had it first. A little dominance by the big guy. J.C. Lembach. So Frank Smith will get the foul instead of Johnny Dawkins. Oh, well, that's and why they have the white shirts on. Mark Gallery in the lane. Excellent post pass. Gallery with four and Duke off to a quick five-point lead. You see the three-quarter inside, now the help by Phyllis. Oh. Wade misses, but Gaddison on the follow, yeah, yeah. and it counts. They play such tough inside post defense, Gaddison's going to have to move away, screen, and try and come back to the basketball, or at least, if he doesn't touch the ball, bang the glass. So Jay Phyllis. Hit with Duke's first foul of the ball game. Gaddison will go to the line where he's a 69% free throw shooter. Coming into the year, Kenny Gaddison is regarded as the second best power forward in college basketball. And they had a coach's meeting to tell him he wasn't during the year. Lack the intensity over the top now on Tyrant Hanley. Unnecessary. Well, Gaddison's stock, if you will, dropped at one point during the season from about number two to number 14, according to the coaching staff at Old Dominion. And Tom Young and Eddie Jordan sat down with him after a UNC Charlotte game and explained that he wasn't working hard all the time, and since then he's picked up. The last 15 games, he's been on a tear and been the player that they expected out of Kenny Gaddison. The one three clocks, steps, out the point. David Henderson. Henderson, for, for a couple of years, of course, the sixth man here at Duke, and this year coming into the starting lineup, and in a lot of ways, he's the forgotten member of that starting five. Or of the, the seniors, look at the backcourt pressure now, amateur on Smith. That's going to be there all night, too. Gaddison will take the jumper. Doesn't get the roll. There's Henderson, who has had a few really big ball games on national television. He plays good in the big ones. Johnny Dawkins in and out. Gaddison with the save. They're a control-breaking team, ODU. They don't force it. Haley with the jumper. Front center pulled up and took it. Now Dawkins working on Frank Smith. He'll take him to the hoop. Oh, gorgeous use of the dribble. Little crossover dribble by Johnny Dawkins. Thomas underneath. Billis batted it back out. Smith picked it up. Good call. A block on Billis. He took thunder. Well, not really when you see a big guy like Hanley take that jump shot, you get upset, but you can see here, terrific penetration on the crossover by Johnny Dawkins. Big time move. Tom Young has made a substitution. He'll take Hanley out and bring in Sylvester Charles. Jay Billis now with two fouls, so Danny Ferry checks in and Billis will sit down. Danny Ferry, the freshman, of course, out of Tamatha High School, where he played for the legendary one, Morgan Wooten. But then he started early in the year, last 14 games. Henderson's been in the lineup. I think it's a, a better position for him as a freshman. 
I think he's going to be a great player, excellent passer, shot poorly early, and is a good shooter. So if Smith gets one or two, I'd like to alert our viewers in the Big 8 and Philadelphia areas that you will be leaving us in a few minutes to join a game of special interest in your area. Here it's Duke, 9-5 to five over Old Dominion. Amateur jumper. Oh, my goodness. Head and shoulder. Makes you leave the luggage at home. Thomas open on the baseline. Charles with the rebound. Wade with the follow. Finally picked up by Allery. They had three chances. Dawkins, what a move for the hook. Bob Cousy on the run. Four for Dawkins. All five members of the starting five for Duke are in the scoring column. Now, of course, Danny Ferry in there for Phyllis. Gaddison off the verbal double team. They really got ODU playing in a frenetic fashion. Got to calm down. Henderson. Picked up by Gaddison. ODU's got to be patient. Look for the good one. Ronnie Wade. Picked up by Allery. Now Duke can go up by 10. I'd like to see a timeout if we go up by 10. That's the one thing, of course, Tom Young did not want to happen was his team to come out and fall behind early. This is very much like a home game for the Blue Devils. It's the sixth time they played on this court this year. No basket. Mark Gallery with an excellent cut. And Danny Furry, extraordinary for his size at delivering the pass. If you keep active underneath, Mark Gallery active, and of course, the good size, 6'8", 6'9", Danny Ferry delivering. We played five and a half minutes, and Duke showing why they are ranked number one, off to a 13-5 lead. For one team, the dream of winning it all will become reality. The NCAA Women's Basketball Championship, March 30th on CBS Sports. We're in Greensboro, and Duke second round action off to a quick lead over Old Dominion. Now the Blue Devils with a rather lackluster performance Thursday afternoon against Mississippi Valley State. They really had a hard time getting past the Delta Devils. Eventually winning by 7, 85 to 78, but they trailed for most of that ball game. I spoke to Pete Gaudet the night before and they expected the assistant at Duke that type of game, and they got it. And as a result of that, maybe they're coming out a little hungrier at the start of this game. Duke, as you can see, hitting 75% of their shots early, while Old Dominion only 2 for 12, 17%. Substitution in for Duke. Quinn Snyder, number 14, a guard into the lineup. Ball batted around. It belongs now to the Monarchs of Old Dominion. Billy King also into the lineup for Duke. The pressure continually. Snyder now beat into the post. A very good that inside play. To play post defense, you've got to work and you've got to really get yourself down in the stance. Boy, Gaddison showed me something there, working on Billy King. And for Gaddison, he has four of Old Dominion seven points. Now you may see all night ODU with the fake trap and then back trap. They really don't get anything out of it, but they're just passive, trying to make sure Duke doesn't push it up for a quick hitter. This is Quinn Snyder now, directing the offense. A freshman, 6-2, out of Mercer Island, Washington. Tough break. Danny Ferry. Good defense by ODU, didn't come up with it. Oh, Ronnie Wade. <laughs> with a neck ball. <laughs> Ronnie, they're coming at him from all directions. The deny opened up the baseline for him. Ooh, that was harsh. Keep shooting like this, you're going to win the condominium business. <laughs> Opens up the baseline. He has a little trouble with it, but now his furry challenges. Oh, I see furry got a piece of it. You're excused, Ronnie. Heard the whistle. He went ahead and put one right. up, so he'll NBA style. get two shots. This senior out of Richmond, Virginia, has really helped Old Dominion recently, taking a lot of pressure off inside, off of Kenny Gaddison. Nine, 
Duke still maintaining the early lead here. 13 minutes, 10 seconds to go in the first half at Greensboro. This was the floor where just what last week Duke won the ACC championship. Oh, alley -oop to Dawkins. Uh, Keith Thomas was concentrating so much on Johnny Dawkins, didn't see the ball. And a quick shot at the other end. Old Dominion has it back. Ronnie Wade all alone. Of course, you remember on this floor, West Virginia, with the breakaway, it didn't go. But I just don't like the pace for ODU right now. It's in Duke's favor. Very inside the king. Nice and shot. rejected by Garrett Davis. Was Dawkins up very high on that alley-oop? Well, he also, they were in the match, and he also, with some eye contact, made the backdoor cut. Can he do a little bit of everything? Good pass, though, by Quinn Snyder as well. Dawkins, of course, six foot two, and he was well over the basket on that one. Duke now on offense. Tommy Amaker back into the game. Mallory's with 15. Henderson underneath. Come on, ODU. You got to get up if you want to play in this game. Standing around waiting for Gaddison to rebound. They're in that box and won the match. I think they're a little bit confused, more so than Duke. You're giving up inside position in this match because you're trading people, even though it's a box and one. Good, strong finish by Sylvester Charles. Got to do it earlier, though. Henderson had two chances and finally got called for the foul on the third follow-up attempt. Oh, that pass underneath to Davis, and he was open, but I think he thought it was intended for someone else. Probably Gaddison, but they handled that well. Good post-defense, and, of course, the switch left him open. Amaker over to Ferry. Started the first 21 games, the freshman. Amaker now. He had Gaddison on him. Now they're keeping Dawkins out of the game, but they're giving Duke good shots, just not converting. Charles almost has his pass stolen, but Smith picks it up. Again, Smith working against Amaker. They've done that before. But he got a shot there by Daryl Tolson just in for the Monarchs. I thought he may have walked. He's playing Dawkins now. A little more aggressive trap. Double dribble. Double dribble on David Henderson. He was double teamed in the backcourt. And that's five Duke turnovers. That's the first time they've had a secondary trap. Last night, Bill, out west, Auburn by 10 over Arizona. All of the Pac-10 teams now out of the competition. And, of course, the shocker was Notre Dame losing to Arkansas Little Rock. Amazing. A few people surprised by Cleveland State yesterday afternoon as well. Gannison. I thought he got bumped by Henderson, too. But if they just reverse the ball and take the time, more pressure, they're trapping much more aggressively than I thought they would be. Well, they're back within two now. Old Dominion. Other scores last night. Notre Dame a loser by seven, as we mentioned. The Irish, the third seed in that region. Johnny Dawkins from the outside. Daryl Tolson's job in this box or matchup in one is not to let Johnny Dawkins get the basketball. Or it's fruitless. Good call, too. Den Denny Ferry reaching over Sylvester Charles. The game going on, Bill. LSU and Memphis State at Baton Rouge and the Tigers of LSU with a one-point lead right now. Dale Brown with that home court advantage. Danny Furry reached him with the incorrect hand there. Should have slapped it with the right. He wouldn't have fouled. Slapped it with the left. So Ferry and Billis have two, two quick ones for Duke. Two each. You see the post defense inside. Good cut and pass. Tolson was open, but he was directly underneath the basket. Dawkins finds Allery open. And here comes Old Dominion on the break. Oh. Stolen away by Amaker. Two on one to Ferry. 
Baker read the passing lane beautifully. Hamaker already owns the all-time assist mark at Duke. Close to breaking the single season mark. Of Dick Groat this year. Allard on the rebound. Madison moving further out, not getting the ball, not getting many shots. Barry's open. He was pump faking Allery. Had his own man right there, Bill. Over the shoulder. An elbow here. Garrick Davis got hit. Tom Young looking for some calls. I think they're very fortunate to be only eight down, to be honest with you. So Tom Young's team will regroup. They trail by eight with 9.29 left in the first half. The defending champion, Katarina Vitt. The U.S. national champion, Debbie Thomas. The World Figure Skating Championships on CBS Sports Saturday and Sunday. What do you look for in a potential national champion? Uh, How about teamwork for one? And of course, stepping in, look at this bounce pass. The pass that leads to the pass, that leads to the goal. It goes unnoticed, except by the purists. Tommy Amaker getting it all started with the steal. He has led this team in steals, Amaker, three consecutive seasons. And he's a junior. He'll be back next year. Field goal percentage so far in this game. Duke. Over 50% in Old Dominion still having a hard time at 28%. The, the speed of the shots is the problem for Tom Young and Old Dominion. I thought, as well as he did when he spoke with us, that they would be patient, pry a little bit, and actually exchange spots. They're not, they're three, four, bang. Rushing their shots. Yeah, it doesn't take more than five or six seconds down this end. So Frank Smith now. After talking to Tom Young on the break, maybe he'll, no, this time stolen away by Allery as Allery came right over. The third time he's deflected the basketball away. Amateurs open. Not a bad backcourt duo. Look at this. Oh. Amateur with another steal. Tom Young looking for a timeout. When you rack somebody all ball game, as Duke is Frank Smith, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to make turnovers. So Duke with their largest lead of the game, it's now up to 12. They've scored 10 points off of ODU turnovers. Tommy Amaker, the five-point guard for Duke. And watch him here with another steal. He had made two of them in just a short span, Bill. Well, he sets his man up a little lull and then explodes towards the basketball. But Frank Smith's going to have to protect the basketball. He knows him. And of course, Tommy ended up with a nice, easy deuce. And that's as enjoyable as a dunk. Of course, Mike Krzyzewski knows the importance of a good point guard. He was one in college. Well, he was at the Army. Where he Bobby Knight. With Bobby Knight where he plays. So he knows the importance of having a good one in there. And he's got a, well, one of the best, Tommy Amaker. What I love about him, he was Coach Krzyzewski up there. Now he's down here with the Southern to step in. And that's what they do well, that cross-court pass. David Henderson reading it, and ODU has to be careful. Turnover difference, not that big of a difference. But points off the turnovers, Duke has scored 10 already. And Frank Smith, the sophomore point guard for Old Dominion, seems to be rattled by all the pressure he's getting early here from Amaker. And the pace of the defense, it's harried ODU into a quick-hitting shot. Ronnie Way picked up a batted ball and laid it in for two. But anyway, Krzyzewski came down here and changed his name. See what Winnie will do for you? <laughs> And you knew him as Coach Krzyzewski. And now it's Krzyzewski. Dawkins. Johnny Dawkins with 10 points already. Now Old Dominion passing it around, finding Wade open underneath. There's a good pass from Frank Smith. Well, they run a bump there. Kenny Gaddison set it up. They haven't been running their sets. Now 
Right back out to Henderson. Still with the one three and a box. Johnny Dawkins is shoving and he got caught. Well, Tom Young was calling for it from the bench. Well, Keith Thomas has been trying to upset him. Look, Tom wants two shots. Go get it all, Tom. You can see here a little fake. Now we'll come back and chest him up again. And Johnny a little bit frustrated. You're going to throw one, make it good, Johnny. Dawkins was caught. That's his first. Duke's seventh. So a one and one for Keith Thomas. Eighty-two percent free throw shooter. This man led the Sun Belt Conference in free throw shooting two years. Nice all-around player, Jimmy. Always around the basketball on defense. Gets his share, almost four rebounds a game. And of course, the compliment defensively, playing Dawkins. No pressure again. Two can front by eight. 7.20 to go in the first half. Mallory goes ahead and pulls the trigger. He has six points. Smith, a former football player, recruited by Notre Dame as a quarterback, but he chose basketball and Old Dominion. Uh, Billy King there didn't take away the post up by Ronnie Wade, but forced him to an error. Bad pass. A blind pass by Wade in really no one's direction. Amaker pulls up. Look at that rebound. You know. Jay Billis active. The great shooting by the perimeter people stretches the defense out, and the big guys can slide in. Memphis State now with a two-point advantage over LSU in the southeast region. Ronnie Wade goes out and back into the game. Now is Garrick Davis, and he got the elbow to the eye earlier on that, a rebound attempt. That was Allery that hit him. Is that for effect? You think? Unintentional, though, I'll add. For effect. <laughs> At least he didn't write... Uh, Vic Bubis is named the commissioner of the Sun Belt on top of it. <laughs> he looks like John Wayne after an uprising. <laughs> Gannison with the soft touch didn't go. King gets the outlet pass to Dawkins. Two on two. Dawkins will take the shot. And it counts. Now that was an even break. Two on two, as you mentioned. But when you've got a great play, you've got to give some freedom. Of course, Dawkins always makes you look good, doesn't he? He does, and they tell me that at least three or four times a game he'll make a shot that you just say, no way, this is going in, and it does. He's very good going to his right, too, which makes him, as a left-hander, so difficult to defend. So that crossover move earlier. Putting on a show, 12 points already, chance to complete a three-point play. And Duke now in front by 13. Dominion, regular season champions oh. in the Sun Belt. Amaker steals the pocket of Smith. Ooh. Now they're friends, and Frank Smith ought to have a discussion with Tommy Amaker saying, give me a break, please. Yeah, what kind of friends are going to be after today? Uh, he takes the living room and the dining room. Bill, that is four steals in the first half for Amaker. It's like beating the free safety, isn't it? You're out there all alone. Might be better to have Keith Thomas come down and help out now. Frank Smith unable, and of course, as you know, you start wondering whether you can beat the man with the dribble, so they better get another guard down there to help him out. In their matchup back in high school between Amaker and Smith, as we mentioned, they grew up together in the Virginia area, state of Virginia. Amaker won two games to Smith's one. So far, Amaker controlling this battle today. Is there a better backcourt in the country than Duke this year? Not that I've seen. Of course, I had this club in the Big Apple two times, and many times on television I've seen them. I don't think there's anybody better. Now, Bobby Kermans may not like that, but uh, nevertheless. That pass thrown away by Smith. Another turnover, and it'll go back to Duke. So far, Dawkins and Amaker have totaled 20 points. Old Dominion with 21. Right, and unfortunately for Frank Smith, he is rattled. A good substitution now to calm him down, but that's what makes this club so tough. They're strong inside, but
but they can play without them until you take away the outside game. Bill Darrell Tulsa now back in for the Monarchs. Pass inside to Billy King. Picked up by Davis. Keith Thomas is going to be the point guard. I hope he paid attention at his uh, in camp to his ball handling drills. Tolson with the turnaround. Nice little move there. Four for Tolson off the bench. Little trap. They don't get the secondary one often. They've gotten two turnovers on it. I'd like to see them do it a little bit more. Henderson back out to Amaker. Mallory getting set to come back into the game for the Blue Devils. Pure match now. Henderson has it knocked away, picked up by Ferry, and Thomas with the rebound. Thomas pushes it up to Tolson, but he walked first. So it's scored a goal. That's got to be goaltending off the glass. Tolson took a little extra step to get around Amaker. Great step in by Tommy Amaker. He caused the turnover. It wasn't called, and Mike Krzyzewski's up on him. You'll see the good pass, but right away, Amaker, incredible speed, sets up and then is able to turn and go after the man. But score the basket for Tulsa now with six, and Old Dominion back within ten. They were trailing by 14. Pure match now. Everybody's got a man. Ferry from the outside. That's one thing about Duke. They're big guys. Well, Allery and, and Ferry both can shoot it from outside. Of course, they get anxious, too, defensively. Johnny Dawkins... Knowing Keith Thomas doesn't handle the ball much in the backcourt. Got a little over-anxious. Two on Dawkins. I think Danny Furry's going to be a great player. He's got range, and I think not starting is good for him. Come in, watch the game a little bit. Come in, relax. Michael, going after the officials. In his sixth season at Duke, you know what's really impressive is that the athletic director, Tom Butters at Duke, brought Krzyzewski to, to this school after a 7-19 record one year at, at uh, Army. Well, you have to understand, they're not able to recruit like other institutions and realized what a great job he had done prior to that. And, of course, Bobby Knight uh, recommended him highly. And Tom Butters is very happy. He listened to Coach Knight. Coach Knight put in a good word. Thomas hits one of two. And Duke controls. Pure matchup. Now, everybody really is responsible for a man. Well, what a move by Henderson. He misses the slam, but he is fouled. Garrett Davis over helping out, but uh, the play in the NBA, Kenny, you got to get down the stance and don't give away the baseline. Gaddison's saying, here he comes. The Matador defense. It's one of the first things you ever learn in basketball is never give up baseline. Unless you've got Wilt down in there or Kareem and you want to feed the man to him. Or Manu Paul <laughs> back there helping out a little bit. That's right. Henderson hits the first. Roommate with Johnny Dawkins and co-captain of this year's edition of Duke Blue Devil Basketball. Front by 13 now as we near halftime. I'm surprised Hawkins isn't putting more pressure on Keith Thomas in the back door. Gaddison off the glass. And Allery up strong for the rebound. Bad shot. Henderson comes down to help out. The very intelligent on stopping a break when it's not there. Holding, setting up. Don't take many silly shots. Hold outside on Davis and Memphis State now in front by four. That's a team that seemed to peak early in the season, but uh, once they're back in the tournament, who knows? They know how to get to the Final Four after last year. First, they're away from Louisville. <laughs> they don't like running into Louisville, do they? Temple by seven over Kansas in early action, 11 to four. The winner of that game will go on to play Michigan State. Now, Frank Smith has to be comfortable, has to get that zone where he's confident in his ball handling. He'll probably go right after him. Michigan State, a surprise winner over Georgetown. Many of you folks saw that one today. What did you think of that one? I was surprised. Of course, Michigan State with Skiles, a lot of people's player of the year as well. 
considered him for that vote. Georgetown struggled with their inside game all year long, too. They never established it, so that would hurt at this time of year. So Henderson goes to the bench with six points. Duke now in front by 15. Kenny Gannison has taken eight shots from the floor, and he's made two out of eight. Frank Smith back in there working on Hamaker. Good help. Oh, that's what they're great at. King came over to help out that time. Uh, Jim, they front. They know their buddy's going to be back there. That's what Tom Young was telling us. They play the best defense he has ever seen. Danny Ferry from the outside again. He has 10 points off the bench. Uh, people watch him. You can't tell me he's a 44% shooter. That's because he was a freshman trying to do it all. Great defense again in the passing lane. Mark Gallery. Duke in front by 17, 43, 26, their largest lead of the game. We're nearing the three-minute mark in the first half. What a defensive show so far by number one, Duke. And here's another example, Bill Raftery. Well, Curry goes out, balance. You see Allery fronting, Billy King over. Three people removed, helping one another out. That's been the whole first half and season for Duke. Very aggressive defensively. Mike Krzyzewski feeling much better about the first half as opposed to what he was thinking in the first half on Thursday against Mississippi Valley State. Steals 8-1 to one by Duke, and Amaker has four of them. Awesome. Because Michael at Army was a tough defensive coach, and here, same type of defense, but with quicker players, people who can really move. Another great thing about Amaker is he doesn't turn it over very often. I know one of the first stats you look for is assist to turnovers. Oh, he's awesome. Very sound player. Just got made a great post pass. They do what they have to do. Wade underneath to Charles. He misses the short one, but he was fouled by Billy King. After the timeout, you can mark it down. Most clubs go inside with the basketball. The coach gets on to run our stuff, get it into the post. Let's get it inside. Exactly. At least get to the foul line. Sylvester Charles, not a good shooter, as evidenced by that miss. Couldn't get much closer. He's only 50% shooter from the free throw line. I'll tell you an interesting story, though, about Sylvester Charles. He played his first two years of college ball at Wake Forest, and his best game of his career was against Duke. 16 points against the Blue Devils. Is that a funny release, by the way? Excuse me. Very, you can see why he misses free throws. Could use a good game from him. We haven't seen much of Clarence Hanley, the starting center for the Monarchs. Known for his outside shooting, he took one long one, Tom took him out. Gaddison got away with one. Gaddison out in front, goodbye. A little extra. No extra charge on that one. <laughs> you're trailing, when you're trailing by uh, 16 points, you don't normally see the little extra zip on the uh, on the slam dunk, but it was well done by Gaddison. Just put it in is what you're saying. He's had, it. He's had a quiet half. They haven't been able to get him the ball in his scoring area. He's three for nine from the floor in a Gaddison. Going to man to man right now. Oh, a steal by Smith this time. Pass out in front to Thomas. What a move. You're going to call a walk? A little spin move off of Quinn Snyder, but he didn't get away with it. I like the try by Keith Thomas. A good looking loop pass. Keith runs under it. The only pass possible. Let's see, the right foot's the pivot foot. Yeah, I guess he got a dozen in there. Maybe Smith has regrouped. He got the steal off of Amaker last time down court. He has seemed to settle down here the last few minutes. Look at the rebounding. Too many people inside. Mallory and Ferry are underneath there. King. And it's off an old Dominion player. A lot of white shirts sneaking inside. Not enough activity on the offensive player. Defensive class by ODU. Great man to man now. Well, 
excuse me, their matches. You can see the exchange. Oh, Ferry was looking for Billy King on the lob pass, and he threw it behind him. If Tom Young and ODU get in 10 down, they would be very happy. Frank Smith working on amateur. Thomas driving baseline. Good shot for Thomas. He has seven. And it's down to 12 now for Old Dominion. Let's see if they tighten up on that backward pressure. Smith again. The aggressor there and almost came up with the steal. Well, if they get a trap that flat, that's when they really try and tighten the noose. Down in that corner. Pass in to Ferry and over to Snyder and Duke's able to break it. Scores and highlights coming up at halftime with Rick Musburger in our studios in New York. Coach K's rested all his people, though. They're in good shape in the second half. No foul problems. Phillips with two, but the only one. Dawkins getting a little breather before halftime. It'll be fresh for the second half. Too many second chances. And Duke pulls it back out. Just a six-second difference on the game clock and shot clock, so Duke can just about run it out here in the first half. It looks like man-to-man, -man, but as people go through, they exchange bodies on the U. Trying to spread it, get it down low. Twenty on the shot clock. And Amaker with no pressure on him here. Duke will use all of the clock. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Double team. Smith came over to help out, and he could not quite pick up the loose ball. Goes back to Duke with 11 seconds. Jim, that's where the spin dribble gets you in trouble. You've got to know whether the other defender is the off guard. Tom Young makes the change, bringing in Bernard Royster for defensive purposes. Kenny Gaddison goes out. He does not want Gaddison to pick up a, a foul here just before the half. Barry, they have traveled. He did. What a break for ODU. ODU. He's holding his shirt. He said he got that and more. Gaddison will check back in. Old Dominion should have a chance to get a shot off. Four seconds left. Thomas will be the one to take it. That would have cut it down to 10, Bill. So Tom Young's team goes into the locker room, trailing by 12. That's the end of the first half. Duke the leading, 43-31. CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local... Today's East Region second round game is sponsored by U.S. Armed Forces. It's a great place to start. Today's Chevrolet, who invites you to live the style, performance, and fun of Chevrolet in 86. And by Michelob Light, super premium taste and less filling beer. Who says you can't have it all? We're back in Greensboro for the second half in the East Region. Old Dominion trailing by 12 after the first 20 minutes. Kenny Gaddison and Ronnie Wade, top scoring honors in the first half. Gaddison, four of nine from the floor for eight points. Thomas was seven. Tolson was six. Smith and Charles hit a free throw. For Duke, Johnny Dawkins, six out of seven from the floor, and he made his last six attempts. And Danny Ferry adding some punch off the bench with 10 points. Tommy Amaker, seven points and four steals. Mallory, Henderson, and Billis rounding it out for the Blue Devils. Uh, ODU, Jim, on the glass defensively. I think if there's anything that Tom Young would have stressed is everybody help and rebound because Duke takes good shots. Therefore, the ball does bounce close to the rim. So you've got to get down to assist the big people. Johnny Dawkins on Thursday named the winner of the Naismith Award as the top player in college basketball. Because he went by Mike Jaminski this year in his point total. G-Man won't speak to him for the rest of his life, I'm sure. You think of all the great players who have gone through the ACC, had their careers in this conference, and Dawkins is the second, second leading scorer of all time in this ACC. 
seventy or something. Of course, right here, he, Dick Brooks, another one he went by. So they've had some great ones. Jimmy Spinarco mentioned at the open. All right. Duke starting out with the motion offense, passing it around, trying to get it inside to Allery, back out to Amaker, using all of the clock, under 10 seconds, Billis is open, and he muscles his way for two. What a post-pass throw. Johnny Dawkins, you think of him scoring, he can do everything. The matchup was handled well that time. See Billis working hard, front, Dawkins helping. Gaddison. Over Billis. Gaddison now in double figures at 10. Reach in foul by Keith Thomas. Hammaker just an excellent read here on, on the dribble. Memphis State now moving in front by eight. In Baton Rouge and the Midwest, Kansas now after trailing early by seven. The Jayhawks, for one seed in that region, the two team in the country, now in front by five. Duke's been doing a little screen away at Allery and Billis and then popping up the lane. Two big, strong guys in there. Hammaker from the free throw line. A great rebound. Allery. He got up there that time. Oh, again, good shots. If your big people anticipate, they can actually check their man out on the offensive end. Well, you think how far this Duke second, team has come. This recruiting five. class that was graded as the top recruiting class four years ago in the nation coming in. Krzyzewski stayed with them. They played as freshmen. He went 11 and 17. Now, in his senior year, number one in the country. Allery says he can still remember the jeers from a home game loss to Wagner this freshman year. Of course, Mike took a lot of heat as well and hung in there. Duke now back in front by a 14-point margin. We talked about Frank Smith in the first half. Oh, there's another near turnover. Picked up by Charles. Nice move to the basket. Crazy, isn't it? Should be a turnover. The full court pressure now. The 90 inbounds. And Amaker will bring it across. Smith in the first half had five turnovers, but he also had four steals. Matching Amaker's number. He was much better after he was taken out. Oh, Allery was open underneath, and Charles gets called for his third. Well, that's, that's where you get hurt in a matchup. Frank Smith just turns the man expecting help. And he trails the man, of course, the pretty catchable bounce pass. And Allery, a little hang time, going to the foul line. Mark Allery, the senior out of Scottsdale, Arizona. 81% but a miss there. When Rutgers went to the Final Four in 1976, they opened up that year in the tournament right here on this same floor at Greensboro, winning two games before advancing on to the Final Four. Phenomenal year getting to Philadelphia undefeated. Of course, Tom back in the NCAA again. He's enjoying it. A lot of seniors going to have to work hard in his recruiting. Four senior starters at Old Dominion. There's some rumors already. Again, the cross-court pass. And Raftery could not make the play. <laughs> Couldn't handle it. It, must have been, it may have been a double tick, too. But that's the pass where you have to back cut. The guard has to back cut. The wingman replace, and they're not doing it at all. 17.44 to go in the game. And Old Dominion down by 13. But a rumor about Tom Young already down in South Carolina. It was in the Charlotte paper today. They're moving around. Well, for Tom, this is his first year at Old Dominion. His 26th season as a head coach. Should be a charge. See what Peter saving that call. And that call does go against Thomas, Keith Thomas. And that's his third. So the offensive foul is called. The charge. That is what they do so well. They're always willing to give it up, help their partner. Anticipation, the name of the game for Duke on defense. No question about that call. It was a picture-perfect draw charge by Hammaker. Look at a strong post-up inside. They screen away. They pop up the foul. Look at that. Yep. They, they exchange. 
Got messed up. Lack of communication by ODU. You could see it coming, and the defenders for ODU got lost in traffic. Bill is wide open. He has five points, two baskets in the second half. This defense can be confusing and at times easy to handle. They could give that to Billis. They do. Billis is third. Gaddison hasn't put the ball on the floor often. I'm not so sure he's good at it. This looks like punishment to him. A little cross, over move, and Billis with that big leg. First team foul of the second half on Duke. Old Dominion already with four team fouls. Smith will take the outside jumper, and he's well short. That high dribble. Hawkins almost had it taken away by Wade, but the foul will be called I thought, first on Ronnie Wade. I thought John Dork may have gotten away with a walk, too. Lost control for a minute. Yeah, that high dribble got him in trouble. Sort of hesitates on it, then throws it to the floor. The Sun Belt Conference with four teams in the tournament this year. Dawkins, his first miss after six in a row. And Allery could not make the save. Old Dominion, though, winning the regular season championship in the Sun Belt. And that's really saying a lot when you have Western Kentucky. They have advanced on now in this tournament to round two. Alabama, Birmingham, they have a matchup coming up later today against North Carolina and Jacksonville. They all finish behind Old Dominion. Not bad at all. Of course, Vic Boop is the commissioner. Where's his loyalty today? <laughs> it's tough, the right? Commissioner of the Sun Belt, former coach at Duke, led him to three final fours. play they look for one another facing out as soon as the re as your rebound a cardinal principle in fast break basketball but here little extra it doesn't go but it was worth watching you know he didn't just do that move to, to it was showboat he had to do that to get around the defender exactly awesome that's four on thomas and he is such a key member of this old Dominion team. He goes to the bench now. Rockins, first free throw. Well, when you have guards like this, there's so many things you can do because the game rests in their hands. When you're running, they finish the break. When you're running a set, they deliver the correct pass. Rockins with 15. He had 20 in the second half against Mississippi Valley State, 27 for the game, but almost single-handedly brought the Duke back in that game. And oh, boy. Saved a big upset. Almost a turnover there. Golson extended. Gaddison underneath. They turned the wrong way that time. He had the baseline. He turned to the defender. Still got the two. But Old Dominion down by 15. Nice look. Not a bad game below. A little look away. Paulson from the corner. Checked out properly on the bigger guy. Hamaker gets the rebound, Bill. He's taking it all the way. Nine for Hamaker, and Duke now with a 17-point advantage. A little more cheeks in him, you think? Very similar on that play, would you say? Finishes the break. I love the screen out. Good tip. Paulson on the follow with eight off the bench now. They got to get something now out of their press. They're going to get back in this. Uh oh. Look out. Two on one. Uh oh. Dawkins with the rebound, but a whistle before. Gaddison got caught. Late whistle, but the correct call. Just complete the break beautifully. Off the dribble. Not a lot of players can bounce the ball and make the pass without putting another hand on it. Second on Gaddison. Duke has really never been threatened in this ball game today. Such a different club today, emotionally. On top, sharp. Now it's their final... Game of the season in North Carolina. Winner advancing on to New Jersey. Winner 
of this game will take on the winner of the DePaul Oklahoma contest, which will be coming up next year in Greensboro. Duke now in front by 17 with just under 15 minutes to go in the ball game. The premier field in tournament golf. One of the tour's most challenging courses. The Tournament Players Championship in two weeks on CBS Sports. Jim Nance along with Bill Raftery at the Greensboro Coliseum. Number one Duke in front by 17, second half. Well, there's the grader of officials, of course. Freddie Barrett coached at Fairfield University, got that program rolling. Now down in ACC country, they go from 12 officials on Thursday to 6 today, and they're going to send three and a man who sits out the game up to New Jersey for the regional. So uh, he's got a five-man group helping him grade them. A little report card in front of him and grading the officials on today's game. I hope he's cleaned it up. When he coached, he wasn't very favorable in his choice of words with the officials. Gaddison, turn around. He has 14, and he has been most of the offense for Old Dominion today. They're not getting anything easy, though. They're not forcing Duke to turn it over in the backcourt. And, of course, the offensive rebound. I'm very impressed. Position rebound team, Duke. Duke with a different lineup in there now. Billy King handling the basketball. Back outside to Danny Ferry, who had a good first half. David Henderson from the outside will pop. Picked up by Garrett Davis. Some pounding on that one. Davis is the brother of Mark Davis, who was a senior star here last year at Old Dominion and scored 32 points in a first-round loss to SMU. Tolson draws the foul. Danny Furry, he, didn't he thought he'd get the charge. He didn't realize the ball would be shown to him like that. Ended up close to being a jump ball. That LSU Memphis State game. Now Memphis State, last time we checked, was eight in front. Now up the lead to nine over Bayou Bengals of LSU. Tolson will go to the line. An 86% free throw shooter. Been one of the bright spots today for Old Dominion with eight points off the bench. With this free throw, he can tie his season high of 10. Now coming in here, Tom Young hoping to get half a shot from his guards versus Duke's guards. And it's been a struggle for them. Mallory's been impressive on the boards today. Sure, he's a solid player. Love his inside defense. He's got pretty good range. He's got a shot at the next level. Look at this. We get it. Oh! They cleared. That's what playing together for a lot of years does for your club. And Amaker with the steal. Tommy Amaker to Johnny Dawkins. You can see Allery cleared. Look at the elevation. And that's a guard. <laughs> oh, terrific. The experience showing, and of course, Right away, they're going for it all with the quick steal. Amaker to the line. His fifth steal of the game. Amaker now. Makes the first of two. You look at the physiques of the Duke backcourt. Tommy, not a strong, well-built type of kid, but he knows how to play uses his body well and of course they're very aggressive on the break and when you project them to an nba level i just think they know how to play forget size etc tommy says he's gonna miss his running mate next year <laughs> so you got nobody to pal around with the only returning starter to next year's good basketball team of course have denny ferry back there for three more good cut empty the back little play that you just saw for duke frank smith Non-shooting foul. That's the third foul on Johnny Dawkins. I got a kick out of Colonel Rogers talking about Johnny Dawkins when he was recruited 
Said he was the neatest player they ever met. Picked up his crumbs, folded his napkin. <laughs> now he's room with Henderson, who was sloppy, supposedly. Now, great hands. Now he's got Henderson pressing his clothes, hanging them up after class. I'm going to send you down here. <laughs> I could use some help with that department. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Dawkins says he never goes anywhere without his iron. <laughs> Make sure everything is pressed. Today they have pressed Old Dominion to the limit. Ah! It all started with the steals in the backcourt. Mallory again. Good outlet pass to Dawkins. He's got the two-on-one, setting up Barry back to Dawkins. That was slow death, that play. They could have finished it quicker. But still effective. What a tough place to throw a post pass. Frank Smith not playing his game. Teamwork. And a little torture test, as you said. Allery with the great outlet right here, the high dribble. He's timing Furry's run. I don't think he expected it back, but Danny, one of the better, the big, better big people at passing. And Johnny Dawkins with 19 has the Duke Blue Devils in front by 19 in the second half. It has been all Duke today. A 19-point lead for the Blue Devils over Old Dominion, the champions of the Sun Belt Conference regular season. Jim Nance along with Bill Raftery and Duke showing why they are the number one team in the nation today, riding a 17-game win streak. Uh, Jim, you're only going to get one shot, as ODU is, and you've got people filling lanes and great outlet passing. They're going to put you away quickly. They've been spurting well right now, and ODU not confident at all all game long. They've been struggling. As you saw on the poster, you add up all the Ds, Duke, Dawkins, and it means Dallas, perhaps, the side of the Final Four. Michael K. Don't you believe sometimes there are just teams that seem destined to get to the final party? You asked Coach Krzyzewski that, and he said sometimes he thinks about that. But he doesn't want his team thinking that. Right. Once you start thinking that, it's when you're going to lose. Oh, they're a hard-working team. I, I was surprised at the Mississippi Valley game simply because they go after you each time they're on the floor. Nickel dime. Barrel Tolson riding Tommy Amaker. In a few moments, we will be sending most of our audience to a more competitive game. Uh, those of you in North Carolina, Norfolk, Virginia, Spartanburg, and Florence, South Carolina will see the remainder of Duke versus Old Dominion. That's what the Seton Hall crowd used to say in the middle of my game. We're leaving and going to a more competitive game. <laughs> when was that, right before the half? <laughs> yeah, we used to get to the 10-minute mark in the first half <laughs> in the see, hunt. See you later, Bill. <laughs> no. Amaker misses the free throw and Wade with the rebound for Old Dominion. I just get a kick out of they tee it up on the defensive end. Each sequence is aggressive. Give everybody help, even though it's a foul. Billy King reading Dublin. Whoever has the basketball always seems to be double teamed. Well, you've got to kick it quickly. You can't put it on the floor inside against this club unless you're going up strong with it. Johnny Dawkins goes to the bench. I wonder what Mike could be telling him. He's liable to mess up his game. I'm going to say, Johnny, you missed two shots from the floor today. You're eight out of ten. What was wrong? You've been killing me for four years. Thomas from eight feet. He's back in there with four fouls. Keith Thomas, of course, there's nothing to save him for now. Down by 17. And Amaker almost lost the handle on the inbounds. You notice he didn't give the ball to Danny Furry out of distance from the floor. Gave it to Allery, though. Mark Allery now with 11. Position defense. They space so well. Don't let you cut. Furry. A little slow with the feet out there. Reached with the hands. Jay Phyllis will check back in as Ferry with his fourth third personal foul. Danny said he spent a little bit of the time last summer chauffeuring a new bowl around. Versus his dad, Bob, GM with the Bulls. Done a great job down there. Or, excuse me, the Bullets. Bullets. Yeah. <laughs> 
Tucker with the, another steal. That is now six. We're going to be sending most of you now to a more competitive game, LSU against Memphis State. But first, we're going to send you to New York and Brent Musburger. Now, for those of you still with us, Duke in front by 19. And we're nearing the 11-minute mark for this ball game. Oh, harassing. Allery, though, gets called for the foul on Wade. It's only the first on Allery today. They're just chest to chest, Jim. They don't give you space. Just a dribble. Allery beaten a little bit, recovers. Almost comes up with a block on Ronnie Wade. with over 450 career wins. Of course, at Maryland. Standing coaching career. It's been a long day today for him. Sure has. Played at Maryland with Gene Shue. Didn't get many shots, I'm sure. He was a tri-captain of that uh, Maryland team that won the ACC championship. So he's an old ACC man. Bud Milliken was their coach. Not a bad golfer. I think I'd take you in that test, though. Has he taken any of your money out there on the links? Yeah, a little recruiting money got in his pocket over the years. <laughs> oh, do you never to get able to get the margin under 10 here as Duke has had a comfortable lead throughout here at Greensboro Coliseum. Well, they get the ball wherever they want. Down low. There's the reach in there. Bernard Royster, but when you let people post up as they are, the pass is so easy to complete. They're good inside shooters, and the matchup hasn't puzzled Duke at all. They've handled it adroitly. You've seen a lot of basketball this year, Bill, a lot of teams. I know this is your first... Well, actually, you did see uh, Duke earlier in the season. It's your first chance to see them since the NIT. Obviously, the ingredients are here. What do you think? Well, the two teams that impressed me early in the year were Louisville, who was in that big Apple tournament, and Duke. And I think Louisville's going to be tough to reckon with out west. And Jimmy Delaney, who's here rating officials on behalf of the NCAA, he was saying if they ever had a big man, I mean, they'd be talking about this as a team of the decade. Or, yeah, Duke, by big man, a dominating type of center. But I think they can go all the way to answer you. And you like Louisville also. Very much. Great raw talent. Looking way down the line, and I mean way down the line, in the final four semifinals, the West champion would meet the Southeast champion, and the East would go against the Midwest in the semi. So if Duke and Louisville were there, it's possible they could go all the way to the final game. And you're going to hold me to it, I'm sure. I will uh, call you up and remind you of that. Thomas from the corner. And King has it knocked away. It remains Old Dominion basketball. Billy King, a very valuable reserve, has played in every game the last two years at Duke. A lot of clubs love the zone on the inbounds, down on the baseline. 2 3 zone. Staying with it now. Klaus probably going to make the use of clock, force the outside shooting. Working it around, trailing by 19. Gaddison goes ahead and takes the jumper. Thomas crashes the boards. Nice effort there by Keith Thomas, who hits a double figures now with 11 points. Temple and Kansas, that was a close one early, and it really still is in the second half. Jayhawks by six. And Cheney's got the owls after Larry Brown's group. Temple a lot better than people think. But ODU just can't force any turnovers with the press. Duke's so solid. We could use a couple of cheap ones. Well, that one got away from Allery, but of course, Phyllis is right there. Pick it up. Mark with a unusual follow-through. <laughs> so it slipped out of his head, but Phyllis always down low trying to pin people. You see, it just turns the hip, locks the man. It's just aggressive style of play here. You didn't get to see Billis early in the season. He was injured with the knee uh, during the NIT. He was so disappointed going up for the awards, he told us yesterday, in a suit after all the tough times here at Duke in the early days. He wanted to be a part of the team that was on the court 
and was able to go up there and claim the championship at the NIT Big Apple. Wants to be a announcer, play by play, by the way. You shoot free throws better than that. Jay last year was on uh, the CBS show Face the Nation, talking about uh, academics and athletics. Very articulate. I thought I was at the Senate listening to some of these Duke <laughs> players yesterday at the press conference. That's a nice play where the high postman rolls down. King there a step late on Gaddison. But you try and thump it low and then roll that big guy down the lane. LSU and Memphis State in the southeast. And Memphis State in front by eight. They've got the big guy on that team, Bedford. And they also have a good point guard in Andre Turner, a very clutch performer he is. Made a lot of baskets in his career to win games. So Gaddison goes to the line now. All-time leading rebounder of the Sun Belt Conference. Player of the year this season at the conference. What a physical specimen. Talked about his football playing career. He doesn't enjoy watching basketball on television. He loves football, but would not like to play it. He said he doesn't want to get banged around. Says he won't watch college basketball. He prefers football. Where, by the way, he was also offered a scholarship to Notre Dame to play football out of high school. See underneath here, a little contact between uh, Dawkins and Wade. Brown always gets a little concerned when they see their star down on the floor. With Particularly late like this. Yes, not able to get up too quickly. Uh, Tom Young walked into this game, obviously, hoping that his team would play well and maybe steal it. And, of course, he's considering them playing with the same type of composure they exhibited all year in the Sun Belt Conference. Come in and play the number one team. They take away some things. All of a sudden, you're rattled, not performing to the way your coach is used to. Of course, in the hole with a team like this, awful tough to extricate yourself. You would call it intimidation from the start. A little bit, very much so. Of course, if you had your pocket picked by Amaker, you'd be worried about whether the ball was coming back up off the floor as well. 21 for Dawkins, and Duke still with that 19-point lead. It seems like it's been at that figure almost the entire second half. Davis will take the outside pop and comes up with nothing but air. And the Duke crowd will remind him of that. Oh, what a release. Johnny Dawkins off the glass. For the high kiss, the only shot he had. That's two now for Dawkins of those <laughs> off the wall <laughs> shots. Yes, that you don't expect to go in. But they are really rattled at this point. It's sad to see because they've had a good year. That's some good people. But the pressure by Duke, just too tough. We have nine minutes to go. And Duke can set their sights now on New Jersey. A moment ago, Johnny Dawkins showing why in some circles he is considered to be the top player in college basketball this year. Derek Davis has the patch on the right eye. Should be shooting from the other corner. But Davis just terrific penner. Dawkins great penetration. Look at how high in the box, however. Soft. That's the shot every guard has to have. Baby hook, so you can challenge any of the big people. You really like Dawkins' chances in the NBA. He's, he can do so many things, and he plays hard. He can guard, run the break, play one or two. Excellent deep shooter. He can get in the middle of things. He can penetrate. Uh, Got the outside him. shot. And you see him delivering the ball to the post. I mean, there's a lot of guys at the next level that don't make good post passes. He does. The starters of Pantaman still in there for, for Duke, even with their 21-point lead. Miles Phyllis with the turnaround. And finally picked up by Gaddison. Where they punish on the glass. They keep after it. Smith will be back. He had his troubles today against Amaker, but for the season, he was the fourth highest assist man in the country. So even in the zone, they play the passing lane. They don't let you reverse the basketball. Only one opportunity.
opportunity. No, another one for Old Dominion as that ball knocked out of bounds off of Bowery. Amaker come up limping a little bit. How about this one before our game today? Michigan State a winner by 12 over Georgetown. Look at it. Rock play to open. Showtime. Dawkins with 25. Mr. Excitement. He does have to light it up. Their aggressive nature on defense should be ODU's ball. Their aggressive nature on defense. You see their hands, they're active, they challenge, and right away they look to the other end and a little half, a 180. And Dawkins has completed his final college game in the state of North Carolina. They love him here. As they should. <laughs> and he'll be sorely pissed next year. Seems like he's been here for so long because he was, well, he's been their leading scorer in four straight seasons. First four years is a long time. I think that's the reason you see a lot of transfers. You know, he had his jersey retired recently before a game against Oklahoma. Only the third Duke player to ever have that happen. The other two, Mike Jaminski, Dick Grote. I mentioned to him the other night, he's got more hair than Dick Grote has right now. Dick does the color for Pittsburgh University basketball. You bumped into him a few times during yeah. your... He dies when Dick loses the game. Jack Marin, you remember him with the Bullets. Played here at Duke, came back and got a law degree here in 1980. He was quoted student newspaper the other day is saying this is the best Duke team ever. Again, inside, I mean, they, they can make the outside shots, but they're always prying, which makes your big people work. They'll screen for one another, they'll work the glass, just give them the basketball when they present themselves for it. Here, Win Snyder catching on quickly. A pretty good help by Gaddison. Nevertheless, Phyllis, inside strength. And Billis will shoot two. I mentioned Jack Marin because you know what jersey he wore? At Duke? No. Number 24. So when they see it up there uh, <laughs> hanging in the rafters. Well, he deserves it. That reminds me of a Hot Rod Hundley story. He says that his jersey with the Lakers, number 33, has been retired, but he he's letting uh, he's letting Kareem use it right now for a few more years. Uh, Rod's got a million of them, doesn't he? he does, he sure does. They could have used him uh, the other day, West Virginia, in their game against he would have tried Dominion. To, he would have tried to throw oh, tough play. Tom Young just dropped his towel in some frustration. Everything going wrong now between the legs of Frank Smith. So Snyder sets up the trailer. Billis. And the crowd favorite is taking off the warm-ups on the Duke bench. Another fast break. Phyllis. Should have given it up earlier. Amaker brings it back out. Jay trying to run the center on the break. Big seven foot two Martin Nestle. Checking in at the scorer's table. Will be coming in on the next dead ball situation. Tom Young's concerned that pressure D. Underneath the Allery, another assist for Amaker. Right now, the ODU defense extremely soft. Thomas from 20. He has 13. Senior out of Richmond, Virginia. Pressure on the inbounds, it goes back to Duke. Now some changes for Duke. Jay Billis goes out. Tommy Amaker out. And David Henderson. The seniors, they've done their job today. Duke with a comfortable 25-point lead. at the Greensboro Coliseum in the heart of North Carolina where the ACC champion Duke Blue Devils, the nation's number one team, looking just like that today. 25-point advantage over Old Dominion 
the champions out of the Sun Belt Conference. Jim Nance along with Bill Raftery. Mike Krzyzewski now will have his team in the final 16. They are able to break a little bit of a jinx. The last two appearances in the NCAA tournament, they were knocked out in this very game. Because I think the day off and some sharp tongue lashing, constructive criticism, got Duke back playing this hard type of basketball. You're saying the Mississippi Valley State close call actually was perhaps a blessing for this Duke team. Woke them up. It's not taking anything away from Mississippi Valley. They took the game right to Duke, but I think they were lethargic. And the crowd favorite has a little problem hitting the 10. Nestle a little cold off the pine. Way oh! The other end, Nestle with the rejection. A little bit of contact, though. First the sub, a little comedy relief on the side. Tommy Emmaker, Nestle down late trailing. He gets his money's worth on this one. Ronnie Wade thought he was all alone. Ooh, little beef. Martin Nestle, seven foot two, junior out of Whitehall, Ohio. He'll be called on next year. Uh, Mike's got to go out, get a few. Wade at double figures with ten. Long afternoon for Tom Young. I can commiserate. It is difficult. You just want them to... You've been there before all. Oh, too often. <laughs> That's why it's so nice to be with you. But you just want your players to continue at trying. Just go out and play hard. That's all he's asking for. He knows he can't steal this one. I saw Bernard Royster check into the game for the Monarchs, replacing Ronnie Wade. Duke now at the controls for their offense is Quinn Snyder, the freshman from the state of Washington. Oh, Perry tried to force one inside, but he got it back. Chose the wrong pass. Thought he should have looked it. Nestle calling for it up high. Uh, he's going to get it now near the line, and he'll throw it back out to Perry. King. And he'll score that basket. Gaddison's tired. He's been bottled up on the offensive end. He's tried to do a job. It's been a very difficult evening. Nestle could have been over the top here. King ends up with it, but Gaddison showing his leaping ability. And good call. You know, Gaddison last year in a game against Rutgers when Tom Young was then guiding the Rutgers program scored 31 points against the Scarlet Knights. I think that was enough for Tom, Tom Young to know that maybe he should uh, <laughs> switch sides. Switch sides of that of the ball. One shot continues. Most of them have, have been tough ones. Good luck. Nestle, I thought he walked. Yeah, they got him too. You gotta get the big guys a foot from the hole. They don't want any of those rules being called. Put the ball down the floor. He's Kansas and Temple. And Kansas has been pushed today by Temple, but now they're in front by 15. It was close early. Obviously, the Jayhawks have gone on a tear and full control of that game. Frank Smith with only uh, his third point, his first field goal of the day. Well, they've had a lot of bad battles. Tommy Amaker. Frank Smith, and I'd say Amaker won this one. Nestle, he got it. That's where you want him to get the ball. That might have been the largest eruption of the day for this crowd of some 13,000 in Greensboro. Every time Gaddison has the ball, he has a tough shot. Nestle rejects, but I believe he got a piece of the arm. He had to go in business when he graduates in this area. Get the ball in his customers. See how much they really like him. <laughs> <laughs> they carry it over to the business world. He'd be a wealthy man, huh? Maybe. All these friends down here, they love him. <laughs> Look at this. Big guy. Whitehall. Bernard Royster will... Shoot free throws, a 6'5 freshman out of Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. 
Still 40 seconds left in that LSU game. And look at that. They've come from behind to take the lead over Memphis State. Wow. A little excitement down in Baton Rouge. They've had a couple of close calls. They won the double overtime game against Purdue on Thursday. Weldon Williams on the foul. And a long day for Tommy Young. Struggle. Terrific year. Disappointed now, and I'm sure a few hours after the game, but he realizes it's been a good year. Look, that's right. Win the Sun Belt, some accomplishment. Garrick Davis. Again, his brother Mark played on Old Dominion's team last year, was a fourth round draft pick of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Garrick gets the second one to go for his first point of the game. More pressure now. Here's a little turnover. They didn't get enough of these. And is that typical of the day for Frank Smith? It's a final now. LSU has done it. They have held on to beat Memphis State coming from behind. Sure didn't hurt playing in Baton Rouge. Well, will Dana Kirk bring that up, you think? Oh. Gene Keedy already did. I don't think that's, I don't know. I understand why it's done, Bill. It's tough. It's obviously, but it, once you get the turn. Now playing at Bijou and Kimlock, Greenville, Mall, Asheville, Westgate, Spartanburg. Good help there. Wins. Nestle gets it back. Oh, he's into it. He thinks it's a tie score. Two buckets off the bench for Nestle. He is a big kid, though. Boy, he loves to drape his body over people. Quinn Snyder now. Nice look to Williams. Ooh. Well, the Williams will shoot free throw. But Steve Trax was injured there, but Quinn Snyder's had a lot of pressure minutes during the course of the year. As the third guard, nice pass diagonally to Weldon Williams across the lane. Good-looking guard, Snyder. Weldon Williams, another senior on this Duke team. He came in with a much-heralded group that we have seen today. You always think of defense when you think of champions, and I'm so impressed with the man-to-man -man pressure of Duke. Williams hits them both. So Duke's chances in the tournament. Bill, next up they'll have either Oklahoma or DePaul. Which one would be the tougher opponent for, for Duke? You know? I think DePaul would try and play slower, at least off the other night. Even though in the Oklahoma game, it ended up close. They put Oklahoma away early, and of course, Oklahoma snuck back in the ball game. I think DePaul would be a tougher game, to be honest. Good inside people, quick jumpers. Of course, they'll have to get by Oklahoma in the second game here this afternoon. The ball came in as the 12th seed in the East region. Disappointed bunch on the ultimate pitch. Clarence Hanley didn't play much at all. And as the other look, ecstasy. They haven't had too many down evenings, have they? They're playing again. hamburger has got that import, doesn't he? Always giggling and... Play Friday night in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Near home. Driving distance for you. Sure. Amaker and Dawkins playing in their 101st game get together today. They've won over 80% together. Bill Raftery, you say they are the best backcourt now in the college game, and I can't argue that one iota. Well, I don't know too much, but uh, they're my pick. Good Pass step in. for Smith. Gaddison trying to get around Snyder, and it goes off Snyder. Oh, I say, they <laughs> didn't quite see it that way. Uh, insult to injury. The big guy in the open floor just didn't get the crossover dribbler. Dribble by Snyder. Under two minutes. Duke with a 28-point lead. was pleasant addition off the bench this year. Came in and gave him about nine minutes a game. 
Nestle with another one. He gets his share. They may have to sub for him before the day's over. Kansas now just clobbering Temple by 23 in the second half. After the Owls had put up a good fight early. Here it's been Duke all the way. Nestle's got four, you know. They may have to take him out. Uh, a sin, Kenny Gaddison. What's the quickest you've ever seen a player foul out in the game minutes-wise? I, I would say a couple of minutes. You have seen that? Yeah, before. late in the game, the sub gets over-anxious. I think uh, Mike krzyzewski has been very kind to Tom Young as well. Didn't rub the salt in the wounds, which I like to see. Shows style. Had the game won. Got the A-team off. David Carlisle hit one of two, and Royster with the reach in. Royster with the foul. John Smith and Kevin Strickland also into the game now for Duke. Along with Weldon Williams. Martin Nestle, who has scored the two free throws. And Quinn Schneider. Big Martin. The big guy with a soft touch up there. He's hit six out of seven on the season. Might be a help as the games toughen up. Jay Billis occasionally gets some foul problems. Might need the big guy. Barry got into a little bit of a foul situation today. Uh-huh. Not too early. Side at Steve Tracks. Strickland from the baseline. Kevin Strickland. Nearing the one minute mark for this contest. Well, you get it in. Another steal by Duke. I think you have an opening. Three people all over them. Nestle helping out in the backcourt. Strickland will take the same shot he just hit. Two in a row. Duke was the 10th highest scoring team in the country this year with nearly 81 again. Oh, Nestle on the rejection. Tracks from way outside. Smith has the rebound. Love to Strickland. Oh, just over the outstretched. Arms of Strickland. They react very well to one another, even the subs. You notice that? A nice feel for the game. Probably very competitive in workouts. You know, the regulars love to see the subs get their minutes, too. Oh, they know how much it means to them. And it's, you saw the shot of the Duke bench intently watching now as the seconds wind on down here. 15 seconds to go. Kendall Jones thrown it between his teammates. He'll try it again. And one last shot for Old Dominion. Carlisle on the follow. And Duke has done it. They have advanced on now to the round of 16. performance out of his backcourt. Amaker and Dawkins combining for 37 points, 7 steals, 11 assists, and 15 out of 19 from the floor. Dawkins leaves the court here at Greensboro, a court that has been kind to Duke. The Blue Devils winners today, 89-61. to 61.